everyone. Welcome to Star Season Star Breeds on social media. I'm Jen Rogers, and I'm doing my first um, oracle reading here on Facebook. We're going to be doing a light activation reading for our chakras and our DNA activation. Um, of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Again, entertainment purposes only. This is also a healing and awakening channel. So this is what we're healing. Uh, my biggest ones were addiction and codependency. Also that poverty consciousness, abandonment. So these are pretty serious um, things that we're healing in our DNA and in our um, family history. So we take these things seriously. The planet of the year is Pluto, which is a trans the, the planet of transformation. And that has gone into Capricorn, which is the goat in astrology. Um, so we're transforming at work and our job. So the goat is what? The greatest of all time. Um, it's been said, so we're going to be transforming from the worker into the boss, the CEO, um, in business, industry, agriculture, even sports will be affected, architecture, art, fashion, music, acting, writing, poetry, how we're seen on social media. Uh, we could also be, you know, the greatest greatest of all time is a parent, a mom or a dad. Those changes in us will be happening with Pluto that travels through the Zodiac like 12 to 20 years at a time, I think. So uh, it's pretty major. We're already seeing those, those major transformations happening right now in politics, business, one person in particular. And uh, also agriculture, overseas. Um, so Capricorn is also the sign of how we're seen in society. The tarot, you know, it's the devil. So it's how people see us in society. Uh, breaking out of that devil energy into the light. Um, it'll be how we're seen statistically, our status. We're already seeing that with uh, immigrants and migrants. Um, so we'll have great testimonies um, on how we make a difference in the world. From the rich going to the poor and the poor becoming rich. Uh, it reminds me of that, that saying, the meek shall inherit the earth. So we're going out of the darkness into the light. We also have a total solar eclipse this year in April. So that will be big. Um, it's not in Capricorn, but that will de de definitely be that masculine energy balancing out with feminine energy, and transforming us, alchemizing the darkness into the light. So let's start with these um, light activation cards. I don't have the book for them, so I'm just going to channel the messages with numerology and the terms on the cards. Um, and then we'll do some affirmations and some crystals and some funny other affirmations, things to embrace. So, okay. so let's get eight cards for the year 2024, which comes to a year eight. We might be a life path eight which is for transformation <laughs> so we've got Pluto energy it's a goat and Capricorn let's activate your chakras and your DNA and see what's what for 2024 the new moon we're embracing 
energy. Parts. I've already prayed and over the card and smudged with some incense. Thank you so much. This is where you've been, where you're at, and where you're going, and where the energy is flowing to. We have grounding, color, wellness, healing, inner voice, soul love, enlightenment and alignment so you might be going through an enlightenment period and stars are aligning with that so where you've been i let the beach card and really concentrate on the colors to activate your chakras grounding is usually the root chakra so you might be meditating and grounding yourself to mother earth the tree of life, the stars, which is definitely a sign of enlightenment. It's about your service. So to be of service, you have to ground yourself. Sixes for me are always being of service to humanity with love and light. You might also be climbing the tree of life. So you might be starting a family this year. We have color. Colors activate your chakras. So you might be an artist. You might love art. You might go to a lot of. Be, might be part of your um, soul purpose. And four for me is home above and below. So as above as below. As above, so below. So uh, the heart chakra. Definitely is being activated here with all the chakras. Uh, you see all the colors of the rainbow in there. And red uh, and orange is kind of about the sacral, so it's romantic love, these colors. And zero is always God for me, so or the universe. So you're definitely connecting with, with God in the universe from down here on earth getting yourself into alignment so that's where you have been you've been going towards this so definitely on the right path i feel uh, you might watch uh tarot readings which is really about colors it's how we uh channel our messages it's how we connect with god and oracle readings as well Going out in nature is a big part of this to see all the colors. You might be seeing rainbows. You might be looking into the sun, getting oh, confirmation. Uh, or you need to go. <laughs> I know I do. I've been inside too long because it's been bad weather. Where you're at now is health and wellness. You gotta be healthy to be wealthy so i definitely see you right now uh exercising maybe meditating doing yoga raising your kundalini this also looks like the sort of truth so you're getting downloads from on high about the truth going on with your chakras with your body this back here is the tree of life as well you'll see yeah the tree of life back here Sacred geometry happening for you. Crown chakra definitely being enlightened. 
Two for me is about your soul purpose, that masculine and feminine, feminine energy, the duality. And four is about our st stability. So you're trying to get stable right now, get healthy, eating organic foods. And this is healing you. Five, you're making changes in your life presently. And this is definitely the crown chakra being activated. Um, with the purple here and the pink. Like above your or your crown is the purple. And then like two feet above, two inches above is the pink. And then two inches above that is the, the bright white light. And angels, you're contacting, you're in contact with your angels and ancestors. They're definitely giving you downloads for health and wellness. So it's very important right now to be healthy. Because that's helping you heal and make changes and the right choices in your life. It's courage and strength. That's what five is for me. Very good. So really activate those properties. You might want to stare at these colors for a while and see what you see in them. Maybe I'm missing something or something is activated in you that helps you. Okay, and where you're going is listening to your inner voice, which is always important for a personal relationship with God. Um, no, not listening to others, not listening to what people have to say about you, really listening to your intuition and where it's going to take you. Um, <clears throat> two is for your sole purpose, your abundance duality eight is for the transformation again and together eight and two is ten so you're creating with the creator and you can see uh these can be your hands this can be the creator's hands welcoming you with your inner voice and again all those chakras the whole rainbow of colors opening up to you so that's really important at this time uh, of where you're going towards and then with soul love, your inner voice and soul love, you're really connecting to your higher self and your soul. 33 is about teaching. So you're being taught lessons. Part of your soul purpose is teaching, giving your testimony. Soul love is also loving yourself fully. And I can't really see what those are in the picture far away i'll have to watch the video but yeah giving yourself some love is always important so you can be a teacher to others so this is activating you at this time or this is where you're going in the future it's giving yourself some soul love So you can be a teacher to your children, a good one, <laughs> a good teacher, which is six, service to others with, I know you're not supposed to add the, the 11s, the 2s, and the 33s, but when you do, it's about service with love and light, which is number six, which is the sixth house of Virgo. So really important for grounding and healing health and wellness and listening to your soul and that's what's bringing you into this alignment and enlightenment so you're going through a major stage of enlightenment and your alignment with the stars and again we have the sacred geometry with this card which is the circle which reminds me of a verse about uh, circles of making tiny eyeballs. See how these make tiny eyeballs? See eyeball, eyeball. I'll find that um, in the Bible. Enlightenment is a forty-three. This is number forty-three, which is a seven. When you um, add those up, which is about partnership, and I feel this is like partnership with humanity on Earth. 
the Earth itself, Gaia, and the sacred geometry within, climbing the tree of life. It's giving you enlightenment. Four. When you have the four before the three, it means communication has already been given to you. And four is about, you know, heaven and earth. Your home in heaven and home on earth. It's been communicated from on high, for sure. And that's what's giving you this enlightenment. If you didn't know that, now you know. And this darkness is the whole universe is working with you galactics elementals if you believe in that sort of thing i definitely do uh, some don't know that jesus also has a galactic name and his uh, master jesus's name is sananda so that might resonate with you you might have heard that before and it's putting you into alignment, this partnership with the universe and God. One, one God. Uh, one is for creation, yourself. And four is for your home and stability foundation. So that equals five, which is about changes and choices made with courage and strength. So you're creating a new home for yourself by being aligned with the universe. And this is the sword of truth. Archangel Michael might be helping you find this love for yourself to be in alignment with source. Again, angels and ancestors. The angel, blue angels are always for Archangel Michael for me. Um, there's a little bit of orange in there that could be for um, Archangel Raphael. So definitely tap into those energies and, and pray to Archangel Michael um, to protect you with a sword and shield as you align and to take away any negative energies, entities, enemies, viruses, demons, demonic chants and phrases, and any witchcraft. No weapon formed against you shall, shall prosper. So really a great reading for aligning with the, the universe and, and Mother Earth. Climbing the tree of life, which is what we're all meant to do to take care of our healing. Goes back to this. If you're experiencing any of these things, you definitely want to transform out of that any, um, you know, generational curses. You can transform out of that and you'll have a major testimony. You will definitely be the goat in your healing and enlightenment and your awakening. If you heal from these things, you will be the goat of your family and you will no longer be the black sheep. If you know what I'm saying. So let's get some good affirmations from you. I'll just get three cards, and then we'll do some crystals. I know a lot of people are wary of crystals, especially the religious people, but crystals carry light, and that's really important if you're a healer or if you're healing. Um, they also carry information. That's why they're in our phones. You know, quartz crystal is in our phones because it holds information. Um, also holds, you know, history of Gaia and um, our planet, which can be really helpful with knowing our history and for activating our chakras. So let's get some affirmations. I'll just get three cards. Um, success. The card that's um. That looks like the sacral and the solar plexus. Oh, that card fell. Whenever I drop a card, it's about um, maybe dropping the ball. So maybe you're not believing that you're in God's hands. 
I'm going to read that anyway. Sorry, I got interrupted and then I pulled more cards and I wasn't even recording. Or I hit the button or something. So I'm just going to read the cards that I pulled once again. Okay. I'm not sure if I read these. But success. I grow and thrive. And this is again about the solar or the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. Activating those two chakras. Let's see. I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom. I love and goodness within me. Say that again. <laughs> I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom, love, and goodness within me. I am free now and I succeed in my life. So that's definitely. Uh, Growing and healing, and those are important to find success and to be the goat. And that's what we're all looking forward to. This is the one I dropped in God's hands, so you might not be believing that you're in God's hands. Start time to start believing in that with the root chakra. To get you going, to get you believing and that you're in God's hands, and that yeah, you definitely need to ground with Mother Earth so that you can make a connection and go go all the way up into the light, which is the solar plexus to me is all about the sun, which is God essentially. And don't drop the ball on that. So let's uh, give an affirmation. My trust in life is implicit. God's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my choices. Which is again about the choices that we make with love and light. Uh, which is also Leo for me. You might have uh, a sun or moon in Leo or rising. Let me say it again. My trust in life is implicit. God's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my choices. My faith is steady and I remain true to my light. Everything unfolds according to God's will. It's also about having that strength and courage, which is very important. Number five might be important for you. You could have a life. Uh, 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 a life. Five. Okay. Harmony, which is pink. Right? Pink for me is unity. And it's about unity of others. It's Aquarius. Saturn is an Aquarius, which is about karma and justice. So if you're not paying attention to others, treating others with with respect. Which is totally about what's happening, you know, uh, with the border, uh, immigrants welcoming people. Um, if you don't know yet, the next exodus is definitely with Mexico reclaiming their land because it, they're under, you know, rule of of bad people in the world, taking over with guns and drugs. And money, just for money. So, uh, and and Chihuahua is in alignment with um, pyramids in Egypt, and that's where the last Exodus took place. So the next Exodus is definitely Mexico. So it's about how we treat others, and anyone not doing that uh, could be subject to good karma or bad karma, which is very important. Uh, Dharma is totally something different. Dharma is about walking the straight and narrow good path. But everyone is uh, 
subject to Saturn in Aquarius, which is right next to Capricorn with Pluto transiting there. So it's about uh, harmony um, and kindness to others that are not of our same uh, culture, possibly people that are not in our community, but that we need to um, care about our communities, our states, um, our nation, our world. Um, it's very important with Saturn there because it's the planet of justice and karma, which is can be good or bad. And we're all reaping what we sow. So, especially with star seeds on the planet. I open myself to the divine being within me. I am the image of God. Thus, I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn any darkness in me into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, I find harmony. Which is also about Venus. Venus is a planet of harmony and love and peace. And that's an Ophiuchus. And it's in the good part of Ophiuchus. Um, so that's about healing. And we got healing and wellness. So definitely if you um, heal the world, it would be in a better place. Especially, and Pluto's on the other side of that, transforming the world and society. Uh, next, we have Serenity, and that's green, and that's green is known as a, and a little bit of blue in there, which is, or turquoise, which is our throat chakra. But green, I see mostly in this card, is about our heart chakra. So we're definitely finding serenity there in our hearts. Um, I also see alcoholism that may be uh, part of your purpose and healing. Um, serenity now. <laughs> you might like Seinfeld. Let's say this. Uh, through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. I have gentle, a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. Also about wisdom. Um, and that can also be Ophiuchus or Venus. It also brings up being brave and knowing peace which is Venus, which Ophiuchus, to me, is this kind of indigo color. So serenity now. <laughs> Those are all good affirmations, I feel. Say them three times if you want to really get into it in your prayer work, connecting with the divine. I'm going to put these to the side so we can look at crystals. Crystals hold light. Not many people know that. They also hold information. Some religious people tell you not to use crystals, that they mean nothing. Um, I always say God is my rock, and I put it in my pocket. Selenite is good for, um, or I put it in my bra, the little ones next to my heart to activate my heart. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that crystals hold light and they hold information. Uh, you'll find quartz crystals in our phones and they are healing. And uh, I think maybe in I love precious gems more than flowers. I'd rather get precious gems. Anyone willing, <laughs> someone, put in the comments whether you'd rather have flowers or precious gems. And it's also in the Bible, so I really don't understand why, uh, you know, crystals are looked down upon. 
I mean, we don't. Uh, and I know that it's about um, worshiping the creation, not the creator, but it's not really that. <laughs> we don't worship crystals, we use them as tools. So let's get three cards from this crystal zip card. Let's go. The Labradorite. I definitely have that. It's actually what I'm going to be making. My Year of the Dragon. Oops, I dropped one, so that could possibly be something that we're dropping the ball as emerald. I think I have some else. Oh, I definitely have them. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the cool emerald. Oh, that's too many. Shiva? Oh, neat. They're like big places backwards. One more. Oh, I definitely have that too. Okay. Let me pause this and I'm going to find these. I think I have all of these. So we can look at them and see if they match the pictures. Okay, I found them. Um, all right. The first one was Labradorite. I have Labradorite Power, which I really love. I don't know if you can see the cool colors in it. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, there you can see. That's oh, got a big Labrador, right? But I think that's really nice. Picture sometimes looks like it. Better to have the actual crystal with you. <laughs> okay, let's read. Um, let me see. What is it? Labradorite is a feldspar mineral first discovered in Canada's frozen north. The stone seems to hold the light of the aurora borealis just beneath its surface. This slightly psychedelic iridescent dance, known quite appropriately as Labro. Labrador essence. Who needs it? Adventures, exploring far off lands, places alchemical, spiritual, artistic, and dreamy. Any Pisces. So, adventurers, which is, you know, pretty much about getting into nature and grounding yourself. Oh, where to put it? Wherever you cast your spells, always on yourself, never on others, because we are free will. When to use it. When you've lost your faith in magic, the world is a weird, wonderful, whimsical, watery rock hurling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into Labrador and delight in that. And this is protect your magic. I know that you even have magic within to help yourself. And next, I see this was one I dropped, so emerald. And I'm not even sure if these are emeralds, but this kind of looked like the picture. And I'm not sure if this is ruby and emeralds. I really love this stone, it's my favorite. It was Ruby's Glow with a black light. And I, I have this little heart. Could be adventuring, but. I don't know if it's emerald. I doubt if it's emerald, but I don't have any. I have this raw one that I got at the at the um, gem and mineral show. 
it's a little vague, so I'm not sure. But if you know emeralds, you could tell me. <laughs> so this is kind of what you're dropping the ball on. Let's see what it says. What is it? One of four precious gemstones. Emerald radiates with wet, a wet lush, vibrant energy. Whimsical. Let's see. Whimsical. Historically, emerald is associated with love, beauty, and sex. So if you're not into any of that, you might want to associate yourself with a saturated green gem. <laughs> Okay, um, so maybe you're not in such a lush, verdant energy. I'm not sure what verdant means either. Who needs it? Aestheticians, Bohemians, Epicureans, and Transcendentalists. Ooh, I know an aestheticist. I think that's like an aesthetician. <laughs> I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments. Where to put it? On a chain over your heart or on a ring or at the base of your left thumb. So some of you may need to activate your heart chakra. We got that in the affirmations. On a chain over your heart or on a ring at the base of your left thumb. When to use it? When you temporarily lost the courage to love. And we also got something about courage. To love and be loved. When you're in need of a total refresh, open your heart to limitless possibility with the emerald. Point your heart toward grace. This is another one you could say, Jesus is my rock, and put it in your pocket. If you believe. Right? Right. So maybe that's where you're dropping the ball, too. We got that also. Well, believing in yourself, we got this one's one of my favorites, the uh, Shiva Lingam. This reminds me of Indiana Jones. I love showing off my Shiva Lingam, even though it's really tiny. <laughs> they have really big ones. But this one reminds me of Indiana Jones. I really love Shiva Lingams. I think they're really cool and different. What it is, Shiva Lingams, also known as Vanalingas, are phallus-shaped stones found in the bed of the Normanda, Narmada, sorry, Narmada River in India. In Hinduism, they can represent an embodiment of the god Shiva, destroyer of illusion and transformer. Ooh, well, so that's another good one for transformation. Who needs it, yoga people or people who hate yoga? yoga <laughs> where to put it wherever you seek enlightenment on the meditation cushion concentrating on your breath possibly chanting we also got something about um enlightenment so these are definitely signs symbols and synchronicities about this reading at least synchronicities mm. confirmation wherever you seek enlightenment on the meditation cushion, concentrating on your breath, possibly chanting. When to use it? When your ego has you feeling too small or totally supersized. When it seems like you're sucking life force through a swizzle stick instead of a boba straw. When you've got baby making on your mind. Go all in on your essence. And your essence is the heart of your soul. Your breath, the breath of your soul. Shout out to the essence. <laughs> and this is another one of my favorites. I just got this not too long ago. It's really cool looking and beautiful. I think this was like 10 bucks. Maybe less. But it's called Aragonite. A R A G O N I T. What it is. Like iron patented flowers. So I don't know how to say that. Like iron patented flowers forged by tiny hammers. Aragonite 
forms in geometric bursts called star clusters. It also occurs in the exoskeleton of stony corals and in shells of most mollusks, protecting the squishy and fishy and fishy inside. Who needs it? Anyone feeling out of alignment in need of a major reset. So again, talking about alignment. Where to put it? Meditation cushion adjacent. When to use it? When it's time to retreat to your shell or step out of it. If you want to be square with the outside world, first you've got to get square within with your inside world. Call on Organite to help set a healthy, substantial, or sustainable balance. Find your center. So again, with alignment, I'm not sure what planets are square right now. Um, I think they said, let's see. Yeah, we're still in, you know, we're, we've changed. Or we're in the last two weeks of, of the, oh, the planets that are square. I'm not sure we have to look that up. But it's also about a healthy, sustainable balance. So again, talking about health and wealth are healthy and healing. It's really beautiful. You can't see it very good on this camera. But I love the stone. Yeah. And here it looks like that. Well, that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and comment on this video. I'd really appreciate it. And share with um, other channels uh, that you're on. Or, um, well, definitely leave me comments. And it's really appreciated. I'll have more readings like this on Facebook. I look forward to it. Thank you for watching Star Season Star Breeds here on Facebook, where everything's a sign, symbol, and synchronicity. Love and light to all and happy new year.